Hey everybody, my name is Ed. Okay, today we're going to do another trade review, and today's review is going to be Day Tripper by Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. Okay, so uh, Day Tripper is a graphic novel trade paperback of a 10 issue comic by brothers uh, Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. Uh, Ba's done er I'm sorry, art for Gabriel Way's Umbrella Academy. Both Ba and Moon have worked on Mac Fraction's Casanova as well as uh, one of the Hellboy spinoffs. Uh, uh, BRPD or BPRD, <laughs> whatever it's called, sorry. Um, Jake Tripper gives uh, the reader glimpses of the life of the main character uh, named Bras at different points of his life. We see him as a young man, as a senior, as a married middle-aged man, as a child. Each chapter jumps back and forth in time, so Bras' life is not presented in chronological order. We witness Bras' strained relationship with his father, who's a famous writer. We see him get his first kiss as a young boy. We observe his travels. Uh, uh, with his best friend, we see his relationships with women, we see his relationships with his son, we see him dealing with an everyday boring uh, day job. Uh, while there is drama, uh, the story mostly focuses on the smaller, more ordinary aspects of life, life as it's lived by most people. The main hook of the story is that Braz seems to die at the end of uh, each chapter. Now, I wasn't too sure how to describe uh, this type of uh, story. I was going to say it's magical realism, but I'm really not that well informed on that sort of subgenre. My understanding that is magical realism is more where you have a, a story about ordinary people and fantastical elements might uh, appear in the story, uh, but there's never the main point of the story. It's really just there to enhance whatever the author's trying to say about uh, the characters or family or community or what have you. And the only actual fantastic element in this story is the supposed repeated death of the protagonist. So I'm not sure if this really counts as uh, as a magical realism story. So uh, so anybody who has any sort of comments or opinions about that, you know, please. You know let me know or you know share with me um the art the visuals have a kind of cartoonish quality but they're very detailed the brothers are very uh, able to convey a convincing sense of place and tone that is just right for the story the art is whimsical yet well grounded their detailed scenery and backgrounds give the world a real feel i'm uh, sorry real lived in feel the characters are very individual and unique looking uh very nice color washes by dave stewart uh add to the kind of lyrical and poignant mood of the comic and uh, just to give you some uh, examples of said art, I mean, we're not even into the story yet, but you got a nice little watercolor there thing, even though it's in black and white. Oh, this is <laughs> this is an important, but here's a here's an intro by Craig Thompson. Craig Thompson did what did he do? He did blankets, which I did do a review of, and he also did a story called Was It. What was that other story he did? Habib? That is, I, I don't know. I'm blanking right now. I'm blanking right now. But anyway, anyway, getting to the art of Day Tripper. Uh, just to kind of give you an example, a few examples, just really nice. In colors there really solid I like the layouts I like the paneling here just really solid storytelling here's his best friend Let's see if we can skip around a little bit that story is from when he was in his 30s Here's a story of him as a 21-year-old man. Here he is trying to meet an attractive young lady there. That, this particular story is probably, I don't want to say it's bad or it's weak or anything like that. It's not. It's just a little bit, 
too symbolic and and everything for me. And it's not even that it's I mean I totally get what he's going for. It's it's probably it's just probably my least favorite, even though I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's a well done story. My favorite story is probably one where he's already married and has a kid. And the story is really from the point of view of his wife and son. Here's a story from Raz. It's a young boy. Some nice scenery here. And it's one of these stories that a lot of modern superhero artists couldn't do probably couldn't do justice to. Um, not everybody, but there's some guys that do superheroes really well. And that's what they do. And there's other guys that use a lot of uh, Photoshop and photo references so they can do realism convincing. But they're not maybe so great at getting that in between striking that balance that's just in between. Okay, so uh, there's not a really great grand plot. Uh, the point of Day Tripper is about learning to appreciate the quieter and smaller moments of life, realizing what's important in life, realizing how precious life is, how unexpected and random death can be. Each individual chapter works as, as, uh, as a short story unto itself, but of course gains when we're at, in one sitting. The non-linear uh, structure also helps uh, as certain characters' events take on different meanings as we jump back and forth in time. Uh, Braz has a day job as a obituary writer, and then that, of course, also helps tie in to the different themes of life and death and, um, and things like that. Uh, so while not perfect, uh, a few times the writing does come dangerously close to schmaltz. It, it tiptoes right up close to that line. Uh, but Day Tripper has worthwhile things to say about friendships, family, and personal dreams. It's a movie and nicely rendered tale about the promise and wonder of everyday lives. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you guys all have a great day.